UFC 293, Adesanya versus Strickland, took place Saturday, September 9th from Quiddles Bank Arena in Sydney, Australia. Middleweights are about to clash when the champion, a number five ranked pound for pound fighter, Israel Adesanya, battles the scrappy number five, Sean Strickland. Let's talk Adesanya versus Strickland. The UFC middleweight, Sean Strickland, 27 and five, fighting out of Corona, California, looks to spoil Adesanya's plans and shake up the division by securing the biggest win of his career. Strickland is an in-your-face fighter with a high output, incredible cardio, and he possesses great boxing and true toughness. But on the other side of the octagon, you have the UFC middleweight champion, and number five ranked men's pound for pound fighter, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya, 24 and two, fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, and looks to start his second title reign with a bang by delivering a highlight finish against Strickland. Adesanya is one of the most elegant strikers as you could create. It has been a challenge for his opponents to predict his movements. He possesses great speed, power, accuracy, and creativeness, along with his impressive fighting IQ, and I can't wait for this match. Tonight's betting odds have Stylebender coming in at a minus 700 heavy favorite, and Strickland comes in at a plus 500. All right, here's how it went down. Strickland came out with heavy pressure early, walking Izzy down and clearly trying to keep Izzy on his back foot. It was a fairly close round, but at the end of round one, Strickland landed a heavy right hand that rocked Izzy and sat the champ to the mat. And Strickland followed up with a few more shots before Izzy got back to his feet. But the real story of the night was the game plan of Strickland. Strickland walked Izzy down from bell to bell with incredible pressure, keeping Izzy on his back foot for 25 minutes and continued to batter the champ throughout the fight and Izzy just couldn't handle the pressure of the disciplined Strickland. Sean Strickland defeats Israel Adesanya by unanimous decision to become the new UFC middleweight champion. All right, here's my final thoughts. This fight was an interesting matchup for a lot of reasons. Strickland is known as one of the toughest fighters that relies on heavy pressure, aggression, and volume, while Izzy is a masterful surgeon. How would the styles clash? Well, we have our answer. Stylebender usually is so precise in his attacks, but tonight Strickland came in with the perfect game plan. He used heavy pressure walking Izzy down all night, keeping him on his back foot and off balance with a healthy dose of striking. Let's be honest, not too many people gave Strickland much of a chance. Izzy is one of the greatest champions we've seen in the UFC and one of the most dominant and dangerous. But Strickland continued to gain confidence throughout the night and Izzy just couldn't find an answer. This was a very strong performance by the new champion. Strickland has worked as hard as anybody in the sport, and tonight's victory was well-deserved. Congrats to the new champ. You know, I think I'm one of the best strikers in the world. Anytime, anytime you're doing the man dance, you know, you're one punch away from being knocked out, but I could spar with any world champion boxer and get the better of him. So like, you have no fucking idea. Like, like, I've seen the guys you beat, and you should see me spar the guys you've beat. Like, no idea. So it was just kind of like... I just think sometimes I run my mouth so much that people forget that I know how to fight. Never judge a fight until it happens. You never know what the hell is going to happen in this batshit, nutty sport. Would you say this is one of the biggest upsets in the history? Yeah, I mean, if you think about Australia, the two biggest upsets ever in the men's and women's division has happened in Australia. The whole world saying he couldn't do it. A 7-1 to one underdog came in, almost finished him in the first round and won the championship, won the world title, man. Oh, I, th I think you do the rematch, absolutely. I mean, the rematch is, is, is interesting. There's the thing, you guys. <clears throat> well, I've learned anything about the UFC since when do you have a fucking choice of who you fight? The UFC never comes up to you and says, hey, Sean, would you like to fight this guy? Or would you like to fight this guy? The UFC says, hey, you're fighting this guy, fight this guy, so. Then day, I'm the champion, so fucking line him up. I'll knock him down or get knocked down. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought about Strickland's performance tonight and who you think he should fight next. Just want to give a big shout out to all of our fans. This is Jay Can with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.